Hey guys, I am Anand, your tech guide from TechStore and in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest HP Pavilion EG series of laptops. This is the Core i5 11th generation laptops with graphics as well as without graphic series and we have it hands on with us today. And after watching this video, you'll be able to disassemble the laptop and upgrade the RAM, SSD and battery, speaker, everything basically. So let's get into it. This is the way the laptop looks on the top. Uh, it's got this metallic finish, silver metallic. And uh, once you open it, it's got a three-sided nano bezel and a dual array microphone with a HD webcam. It's got a glare screen, does not have an anti-glare screen. So that is something we are expected. It's got full HD IPS panel screen and the nits value is 250 nits. The keyboard is again a premium keyboard. Uh, which always comes with the HP Pavilion, a very standard looking uh, Pavilion keyboard and good sturdy keyboard with backlit obviously. The power button is integrated inside the keyboard itself, uh, very awkwardly placed in the between. It's not placed on the left end or the right end, somewhere in the between. So that is something awkward. Many times your hand might just go and it might just power off the PC when you're working on something important. So that's something that HP has to look into. And uh, the touchpad here is very crisp and uh, fantastic design as usual with HP Pavilion. Metal etched uh, on the sides and a unipad, multi gesture unipad. Again the same metallic finish has been continued as in the inner. There is no dual tone here on this particular Pavilion series. Dissipation of heat is again uh, facing towards the LED screen. So that's continued. Once you open the laptop, uh, the edges are going to touch the base so it's not a good thing uh, it'll keep giving you scratches over here and on the long run the hinges uh, stability also is a matter of concern on this particular model it does give you some elevation when you just power it on or on a certain angle it just gives you some elevation but that's not required actually it's got bang and olfusen audio over here and a core i5 11th with intel iris graphics or nvidia mx450 graphic card on the left side, uh, you have a HDMI port, you have a USB 3.0 port, you have a C-type uh, USB port, headphone mic combi. It looks very slim, slimmer than the average uh, normal HP 15S laptop. On the front again, there are no IOs whatsoever. On the right, uh, you have a Kensington lock, you have USB 3.0 and a charging pin indicator. That's it. These are the ports on this. On the rear, you have pavilion etched and uh, when you go to the rear side of things you have this perforated area over here and uh, the speaker grill is over here right and left speaker so speaker is not front firing it's on the base here uh, pretty clutter free design uh, uh, screws are not visible per se only two screws visible here we will dig deep into the laptop in the later part of the video let's see if the laptop opens with a one hand operation nope nope want to have some issues in the future very very tight hinges so calibration is required for the hinges once you buy it say after six to eight months get it open get the hinges loosened else uh, the display frame is going to surely come off this is the actual uh, video taken from the web camera of the pavilion 15 eg series of laptops and uh, the video as you can see is very clear the audio is also very crisp because of the dual array microphone and uh, HP continues with its legacy of having very good uh, web cameras on their laptops. So big thumbs up on this. So let's check the speaker quality of the HP Pavilion 15 EG series of laptops and here it
audio quality is very good. The, the Bang & Olufsen speakers that HP has integrated have really given a good performance at this price point. A very good speaker integration by HP for this particular laptop. A big thumbs up on the speakers. First thing first, we need to flip the laptop. You will see two visible screws here and the other screws are below these rudders here. We need to use a blade. Ensure that the double sided tape comes along. That's the reason we use a blade. It's held by a double sided tape here. So ensure that it comes along. Keep it on one side. Now we need to start removing the screws. Now take a triangular tire like this and start protruding on the sides here very carefully because if you don't it will leave metal imprints. This is the innards of the EG0547TU and the EG series in general. This is the battery. This is the RAM bay area, this is the NVMe SSD bay area and uh, this is the Wi-Fi chip, processor fan, the motherboard, the speakers over here. So all in all uh, immediately accessible to you. So let's start with the battery first. You need to remove these screws here. Once the screws have been removed, uh, just pull the battery out and it comes off. This is basically a HW03XL battery and uh, the power ratings here are 11.28 uh, volts and 3454 mAh. Basically 34 watt hours is what the power rating is. So if you want to replace just take a HW03XL battery and you can replace it say 2 years from now after buying you have to replace the battery. The SSD over here say you want to upgrade the SSD to a 1 terabyte or a 2 terabyte SSD just remove this screw over here. By default, the EG series comes with a SSD only. It does not have any area to remove the, uh, to put the hard drive. By default, it has got uh, this kind of sink over here. Jelly has been put so that uh, it does not heat up. So it's a NVMe SSD, 512GB by default. You can take a similar M.2 2280 NVMe SSD, 1TB or 2TB and uh, replace it over here. Come into the RAM area here. So this is a 8 GB variant. So it has got 4 plus 4, total 8 GB DDR4, 3200 megahertz. Ideally, they would have given one 8 GB stick was, was also been fine because you can upgrade to 8 plus 8, 16 GB comfortably, but this is not the case here. So say if you want to replace the 4 GB with 8 GB, just remove any one of the DIMM slots. This is the RAM that you need to buy. This is a 1R X16 PC4 3200 AA MHz RAM. Up to 16 GB you can install on one RAM bay. So 16 plus 16, totally 32 GB is the upgrade capacity. Just take a similar RAM and insert it like this. So similarly, even on this side, use your two thumb fingers and just remove the RAM like this and it pops off. Take another 8 GB or 16 GB, ideally 8 plus 8 or 16 plus 16 is the right fit so that uh, the dual data rate is efficient, 8 for uh, read and uh, 8 for write. So it has to be an even number both sides. Let's put it back like this comfortably, press it on the top here, there will be this notch sound that you will get and that's it. So this is a speaker over here, two speakers, uh, stereo basically, so one screw over here and another uh, screw over here, two screws and the speaker comes off. You can replace it by removing this speaker uh, connector over here. This is a heat sink. This is the CPU processor fan. So to replace the fan, you just need to remove these screws. Let me put the SSD back. Just need to remove this connector over here and the fan can be replaced. Say in a scenario, your fan is malfunctioning just take a similar fan that it is and uh, you can replace it. Now let's put the fan back. First thing first, we need to put the connector back into its place. Just push it and uh, put the screws back. This is the Wi-Fi chip here. One screw if you remove, you can replace the Wi-Fi chip also. This is the daughter board. This is the main board. In another video, we'll show you how to remove the motherboard as well as the keyboard and replace it. So let's put things back. Let's put the battery back into its place. So 
let's put the back panel keep pressing all through not very nicely designed if you would ask me back panel is a little difficult to get off as well as to fit but that's that that's the way it is This is my friend who's a video showing the disassembly process as well as the review of the HP 15 Pavilion EG series of uh, laptops. It might be a TU or a TX uh, with graphic, without graphic, i5 or a Ryzen 5. They all look the same absolutely and the process to upgrade this particular laptop remains the same. Uh, we were very happy with the speaker quality over here as well as the webcam quality as always it is with HP uh, laptops. The keyboard quality is also very good with backlit but we expected at least uh, two SSD slots uh, for upgradability in the future or at least a hard drive bay area but that is not there. They would have given two M.2 NVMe SSD slots so the users could actually upgrade the hard drive capacity, SSD capacity to a higher number but over here the max that you can upgrade is putting a two terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD at the max, nothing beyond that. And also the RAM over here is uh, uh, x16 which could have been uh, x18 for better performance but that's absolutely fine 3200 MHz but uh, 8 plus 8 is a bit of a problem here because the 8 GB variants come with 4 plus 4 so you need to sell the two and then you can put a 8 plus 8 or 16 plus 16 the max upgrade is up to 32 GB the screen quality is fantastic although it is glare screen it does not have anti glare and uh, the ports also could have been more we would expect at least uh, another USB port over here but uh, that's the way it is. So HP Pavilion starting uh, pricing over here in India is around 62,000 rupees. It might be a 14 inches or a 15 inches. They will all look the same. We'll have the same way to upgrade the RAM, SSD and hard drive. If you need uh, replies to your comments in my video, you need to subscribe to our videos. So subscribe now to get answers to all your queries about this particular laptop. Thank you so much for watching and uh, let us know of your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much.